Ah, uh, this is Luke Chen. I'm going to teach you how to you lose up your waist. All right, that's the part from here, the ball rotating. Uh, this actually is a secret. Uh, and again, I always talk about secret. Everybody can do this. Not everyone. I <laughs> mean, if you in. Uh, a lot of people cannot actually squat down. But even if you squat down, if you do this, no good because you're hurting your knee. Most people do it wrong. That's why I say it's secret. <laughs> you must do it the right way in order to get the result. What is the result? The result will be uh, your hip. Swing for the hip. Huh? The hip you so you can root it. Uh, the ball rotating, it's up and down rotating. It's very good for your kidneys, right? It's good for your kidneys. When you're going up and down, very rooted. And then when you're going up, you're pulling your, uh, your back. Now, it's um, very, very important. Most people hurt their knees. If you not, don't <laughs> Don't do it right, for sure you'll hurt your knees. People practice Tai Chi, practice Tai Chi, they hurt the knees because the knee passes over the toe. <laughs> Most people don't understand it. To fix that problem is from your back. So like a curve, eh? like an arch, like the bridge, the arch, that is protecting your knee. If you like this, hurting your knee. Now most people do it wrong, like this, okay? Down, up. Pure string on your leg. No good. And then when you're doing this, what happened? Here, all the force come from here, and then you're hurting your knee. When you see it here, when you hear pop sound, <laughs> the sound, you're hurting your knee. It's no good. If you do it right, no noise. You should hear no noise. How to do it is rotate here. The Dante, you need to rotate. So have a motion, a curve going, a curve. So here I'm pulling myself up. Here I'm pulling up, okay? So, <laughs> and normally, uh, when you do wall squatting, you close the nose and forehead close to it, all right? Now, uh, and in Tai Chi, we separate the feet when we do squat squatting. So that's very good for your, uh, for SI joint, for your quad, very good for it. Uh, but however, some Qigong put the leg together. Now, I tell you that, uh, uh, it's very difficult in a sense that to loosen up here, to loosen up here. Now you can do both, but I prefer separate feet when you do it. But this is traditional Tai Chi way of doing that, all right? From Wu Da, right? Uh, from traditional Yang style Tai Chi, uh, Wu style Tai Chi, all have this. But they, of course, if you have not learned it, that means they kept the secret yet, all right? So, uh, now why I say this? Because I, I have seen many students heal themselves of kidney disease by doing this. And many other units disappear because they're using the power from the source muscle to pump up uh, the internal organs, really massage it, and then you feel more energy, a lot of energy, and a lot of power in your legs, great power. But if you do it right, oh, you get everything. Let me demonstrate a feel, okay? Talking is cheap, let me demonstrate a feel. Now, uh, whether you can touch the wall or not, is not the issue here. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, away from it uh, better, a little bit, but not away too much, okay? So your nose and forehead has to be close to here, all right? So a little bit closer to it, but not uh, as close uh, or too far away. And then you start to squat down right here. Right here, most people fall, okay? So right here, you, you see my name, my area. So going up, the way you do it wrong is like this, pure string for your legs. 
No good. This wrong. This wrong way to do it. The correct way of doing it is, see, pulling up. Both are correct ways. Look at my back here, okay? So you do it 100 times. It's time <laughs> for 100 days. And we call it one God. All right? But if you, at the 99th day, for example, you, you, you fall down. And then you start over again from 1, 2, 3 until 100. Well, I think my goal happened to be one time. I will be doing it again. Alright? So, happy going. Thank you. <laughs>